Hyacinthe Rigaud was a French Catalan painter known for his exceptional talent in portrait painting during the Baroque period. He was born on July 18, 1659, in Perpignan, France, and passed away on December 29, 1743, in France. Rigaud's career flourished in Paris, where he became one of the most sought-after portraitists of his time. He gained recognition for his ability to capture the likeness and character of his subjects with great precision and elegance. His portraits were highly esteemed among the French aristocracy, and he painted numerous notable figures, including King Louis XIV. Rigaud's style is characterized by his meticulous attention to detail, rich colors, and a sense of grandeur. He often depicted his subjects in opulent settings, adorned with luxurious fabrics and accessories. His portraits exude a sense of authority and power, reflecting the status and personality of the individuals he portrayed. One of Rigaud's most famous works is the Portrait of Louis XIV, 1701, also known as the Sun King. This painting captures the majestic presence of the French monarch, showcasing his regal attire and commanding expression. Rigaud's skillful handling of light and shadow, along with the intricate rendering of the king's elaborate clothing and accessories, made this portrait an iconic representation of Louis XIV. Rigaud's exceptional talent led to an extensive list of clientele, including members of the French nobility, government officials, and wealthy patrons. His portraits not only captured the physical likeness of his subjects but also conveyed their social status and personality. Apart from his commissions, Rigaud was also an influential figure in the art world. He was a member of the prestigious Académie Royale de Peinture et de Sculpture, Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture, and served as a professor and mentor to aspiring artists. Hyacinthe Rigaud's contributions to the art of portrait painting and his mastery of capturing the essence of his subjects have secured his place as one of the foremost painters of his time. His works continue to be admired and studied, and many can be found in prominent museums and collections worldwide.